Uh, good evening, Mayor Ranke and members of the Council. I'm Terry Hirsch, uh, Assistant Community Development Director for your Community Development Department License and Code Services Administrator. As stated, I, item number nine on your agenda this evening is a review of the Home Occupation Ordinance. Um, a little background, the Home Occupation Ordinance is the local prevailing regulatory oversight for pr which provides regulations, rules, restrictions, and standards for the operation of commercial business activity from uh, residences within the city of Burbank. That's both single family residences as well as uh, multifamily residences. And as you know, this ordinance uh, originated decades ago, and, and in the past three years, in one way or another, uh, including this evening, this item's been to council five times. Um, in 1998, it was revised uh, with 14 different amendments, and in 2006, it was amended to accommodate. Uh, the possibility for music lessons to take place from residences. Uh, the ordinance has been discussed numerous times by past and present uh, city councils, by past and present planning boards, past and present task force, um, which were given the direction to study and make rec recommendations concerning the ordinance. So as you can see, this ordinance has been under your microscope, a lot of microscopes, uh, many times. Uh, most recently, Council gave direction to form a new Home Occupation Task Force to again uh, scrutinize the ordinance to be followed by their recommendations being reviewed by the Planning Board this time. And at this time, I'd like to take a moment to recognize and introduce, uh, introduce both Home Occupation Task Force members um, as well as staff, uh, those some are present this evening, some are not. I appreciate all their effort uh, on behalf of the community and certainly on behalf of the City Council for taking this endeavor. Uh, with us this evening, uh, we have Mr. Max Cannon. You might want to raise your hand. Um, we have Miss Laverne Thomas. I don't believe Dr. Keith Sanneman is with us this evening. We also have Mr. Larry Yazine. And in addition, this evening, we have support staff uh, to the task force. I'd like to um, say thank you to Senior Assistant City Attorney uh, Mr. Joe McDougall, uh, Miss Elaine Pease, uh, Bethany Habits, I don't believe she's with us this evening, and also Sergeant uh, Kelly Frank, I don't believe he's with us this evening, and uh, from the Fire Department Battalion Chief, uh, Fire Marshal Frank Walbert, um, I wish to thank them all for their, assist their assistance with this process. And as you can see from the minutes attached to this evening's staff report, the task force studied all aspects of the current ordinance as well as ordinances from um, other jurisdictions including, including county uh, jurisdictions. The task force worked in detail with all aspects of the ordinance and uh, a particular concern to them was to scrutinize, to scrutinize um, the specific home occupation regulations which prohibit extra, pedest extra pedestrian and extra vehicular traffic in conjunction with the operation of the home occupation. And as you recall, the last time this council debated this, it was a lively debate about that particular aspect, so they thoroughly scrutinized that. Uh, this includes extra pedestrian traffic uh, generated by employees or by clientele coming and going to home occupations residences. And of course, the major concern about allowing extra pedestrian or extra vehicular traffic is that uh, it could cause extra traffic. Uh, extra noise, uh, extra general disturbances, parking problems, and it creates an environment for a strong potential for safety hazards due to different types of occup occupancies uh, which uses are not intended for, and in some circumstances allows for the potential of unwanted or illicit types of business activities to take place in residential areas. The task force also studied particular regulation with respect to establishing maximum employee numbers or maximum clientele numbers for visits should you go in that direction. Uh, with respect to allowing certain numbers of employees or clientele at home occup occupations, say for example, if you decided no more than three employees per day or a combination of three employees or clients or 10 employees or combination of 10 employees and clients per week or up to 40 per month or any combination thereof, um, within a month in this light it, be, it should become obvious to everyone that it would be impossible for staff to track these numbers on a daily weekly monthly or a yearly basis for even say 10 percent of Burbank's current home occupations which is 1,484 as of today. 
Um, as well, given the number, uh, given that the ordinance, if it were amended to allow such a maximum number of employees or clients or a combination of employees or clients, the city attorney's office has informed us during the task force deliberations that because of potentials for negative environmental impacts, that the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, may require review of a home occupation ordinance should the ordinance be amended such that increased pedestrian and vehicular traffic in any quantity were allowed into residential zones. So consequently, the task force, as well as the planning board, did not recommend any amendments be made to the home occupation ordinance which would allow for extra pedestrian or vehicular traffic in, to occur in Burbank's residential neighborhoods. After reviewing all aspects of the home occupation ordinance, including the regulations as well as the purpose and intent, which is at the beginning of the ordinance, the task force made one recommendation for, for an amendment, and that recommendation was being that the ordinance restrictions, which uh, concerns the size of the commercial vehicle allowed on the premises of a home occupation. T currently, that measurement and determining that size is pretty difficult to discern. Uh, it uses the vehicle suspension weight as a measurement, and the measurement is not easy to consistently figure out. So the task force recommended that it be made, it would be more sense that if the length and the height of a commercial vehicle uh, being used instead, uh, which is not difficult for us to discern. And as well, it makes greater sense from a visual safety pers perspective from a line of sight. Um, the recommended length and, and height of the vehicle would have been 22 feet and eight feet in height. The 22 foot length, which at first blush appears to be pretty long, that's the same length of, that's allowable length, which is currently used uh, to measure uh, motorhomes, which may be placed within the front yard setback of uh, any residence. So, and the eight foot height is the standard maximum cab height for commercial vehicles of that length. As directed by council, once the task force concluded deliberations and provided their recommendations, uh, staff took this matter to the planning board. And on November 8, 2010, the planning board discussed the home occupation ordinance in addition to the recommendations by the task force. Overall, the planning board concurred with the task force's recommendations. I think the planning board's perspective was best summarized um, at the end of the, their deliberations by planning board Hovenacian. His ending comment was that the ordinance is well drafted. It's important to preserve and protect the quality of life for residential neighborhoods and therefore uh, did not feel that the ordinance needed to be modified. That's with the exception of the size of the commercial vehicles allowed. This evening, it's recommended council direct staff to return with a draft ordinance uh, as recommended by both the Home Occupation Task Force and the Planning Board. Uh, the recommended draft ordinance uh, would amend the ordinance such that the manner in which the size of commercial vehicles parked on the premises of home occupation should be determined. Uh, the proposed manner of the measurement would no longer be suspension weight. It is recommended the measurement be based on a scale of of length and height. Uh, Mayor Ranke and members of the council, that concludes staff's presentation this evening. With the exception of, once again, I'd like to thank the members of the task force for their participation in this process, as well as the staff members for their task force supporting roles. At this time, I'm available for any questions you may have.